Justice has had a hot start and hits again. Hollingsworth, lob for Savage. Justice tried to force it to Williams. It somehow got through three or four Panthers. And Williams is the first hilltopper into double figures with 11. Rawls, wide open three. Largest lead of the night for Western Kentucky. It's 19. Swings to Paez, who gets the start to begin the second half. Adams, swatted by Savage. Fifth block shot already by Western Kentucky. Justice, and one. Cameron Justice looking for a second four-point play in as many games as a hilltop. And this is just the first of a very, very difficult road non-conference schedule for the Governors. Well, perhaps the biggest name programs on Austin P's schedule aren't at their peak. Governors non-conference slate still features Western Kentucky and Tulsa to be followed by Vanderbilt, Arkansas, West Virginia, and Georgia. A gauntlet of a half dozen games if there ever was one. I think you and I talked the other day about how some of the programs don't exactly ring out as far as blue blood names on Western Kentucky's schedule, but those teams are can play the Rhode Islands, the Belmonts, the Wright States. Don't exactly, uh, you know, make the college, the average college basketball fan then to raise your awareness, but those teams can play. Taylor in traffic. Rattles out, Bassey the rebound. Taylor takes it right back from him. And one. What competitiveness from the Bowling Green native Terry Taylor. Had a tough afternoon. You know he liked to play great today in front of his hometown crowd coming back to Bowling Green. And, but that play right there just shows you how relentless he is. And he's a great offensive rebounder. He's never one and done. He's three times off the floor before you can jump once. And that time was able to stay with it and finish over Bassey with the left hand. Being left handed is a little bit unique matchup for, for guys too. That makes, makes him even more special. He's on Carson Williams, the transfer from Northern Kentucky. Hollingsworth for three. Got it. Tavion Hollingsworth has 15 second half points. And he's closing in on Cameron Justice for the team lead. Reginald G, the Alabama State transfer, immediately answers for the Governors. Carson Williams said, hey, coach, we don't have a true point guard. That's fine. I can play off the dribble. Let me distribute. Second time in a row here, he's gotten into the paint, kicked out for open three-point shots. You have to think Terry Taylor not, wanted not only to show out back home in Bowling Green, a stoppage now from the officials who want to fix the net, not only to show out in front of his hometown fans, but you would think that there's a maybe a Bowling Green-sized chip on his shoulder as well for the fact that Western Kentucky decided not to extend him a scholarship offer. Now, not alone, only had those three offers, one from Austin P. Southeast Missouri and Texas Southern joined in the Division I ranks. But the hometown school had to have been a target for Taylor, and safe to say he showed it up that he could have helped this team. Just before the timer, Williams off the mark. Bassey in the offensive glass. Once no, twice yes. Bassey. Charles Bassey doing his best Terry Taylor impersonation, staying with the offensive glass, finally getting the ball to go down. Bassey only the second freshman of the country since 1992 to average at least 14 points, 10 rebounds, and two blocks. G misses on the pull up. And Bassey the other way, had it poked out of his hands by Taylor. His pass in front of Woodard, and Austin P can try to reset, but Woodard wants the quick trigger instead. Rebound this time corralled by Bassey. The only other freshman since 1992 to meet those numbers, Anthony Davis. Say he turned out okay after his one season at Kentucky. That's a pretty good company. And keep in mind that Bassey graduated high school a year early. He only turned 19 a week before the season started. Williams against Taylor. Hollingsworth, another three. 21 for Tavion Hollingsworth. Three point goal. All things clicking for West Kentucky and Carson Williams really create. I mean, using his ability to dribble, get in the paint, eyes up, finding open shooters, and Jared Savage and Hollingsworth both beneficiaries of the assist from Williams. High is inside, Woodard outside. Got it. If Charles Bassey's somewhat 
off and on offense has been the disappointment through a couple of games, or at least the concern for the Hilltoppers. Rawls on the attack. Collingsworth thought about another one. It's this outside offense for the Hilltoppers that has been the positive. Bassey hits from mid range. West Kentucky last year made only six three pointers a game, fewest in Conference USA. 10 out of 19 today. Looks like this is going to be a much more explosive outside attack for the Hilltoppers than it was a year ago. Rick Stansbury was concerned about their offense last year at the end of the year. I think, I think 71 points per game, maybe in league play. Like to get up high 70s, 80s. Bassey fell out of Baev and was called for the foul. It's been a physical afternoon, and the officials intelligently getting in there quickly just to try to separate the teams before we go to our final official timeout of the second half. Western Kentucky, after a quiet offensive opener, up 90 to 66 late on today. <laughs>